Hello, I'm here today to go over our activity um, that you're going to be working on in class today. Um, if you look right to your right um, on this activity, um, you are going to drag your top three lab safety rules, rank them in order of importance. Um, number one is the most important. So you have these five that are listed. Again, it's just a matter of preference based on what you think. One most important three, still important, just not as important as one or two. And then tell me why. That means justify your answer. Give me one to two sentences as to why you think that. Slide two, you're going to drag and drop these respective words, poisonous, flammable, radioactive, and electrical hazard. You're going to drag them to the respective places. So this first one right here is what? The second one, this third one, and fourth one. So put them in the respective order. Next one is you are going to write a sentence using these words that we actually have talked a lot about this week on, um, on dealing with lab safety. So hazard, prevent, laboratory, and then procedure. Jump on over to this next slide. You're going to read the scenario and then tell me what to do. Okay, so what should your reaction be to these safety scenarios? Okay, there's four there. Again, write your answers in complete sentences based on what you think you should do. Um, and then the last one I really like, it's a little video. You'll just click right on Albert Einstein here. Um, and you're just going to tell me three safety rules that you recall from the video. Okay, so watch it in, in its entirety. I think it's only like three or four minutes. Um, and then you're just going to write down three safety rules that you learned or relearned or he brought up that um, is important to know. Okay, um, so that's all you're going to be working on today. We do have shortened periods today, which is why this is a shorter assignment. Of course, if there's extra time left over, um, we'll play some review games. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, reach out to your teacher.